How much should you charge per room for cleaning a house? That is a great question. I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I can help you find an answer. Now, if you go over to askahousecleaner.com, there's a blue button in the corner. And if you click on that blue button, you can send your message to me or your question here at the show. Now, somebody called in and they asked this question. Hi, Angela. My name is Kat, and I'm trying to get a house cleaning business started. My question is, what do I actually charge people for these services? Like I'm looking for a list with a number to each service listed. I mean, you know, each service provided, I need an actual number. I've tried asking Google, I've tried asking people, nobody will give me an actual number to go off of. I feel like I'm either lowballing myself when I get tried you know try for jobs or I feel like I'm overshooting myself and I'm not you know getting it because I overpriced it but I have no clue what to charge people like I don't know what to charge people for a kitchen or I don't know what to charge people for a, a, a room you know a, a number I need a number I know I have to factor in supplies I know I have to factor in my labor I, my value my quality I, I understand all that but I don't actually know a number to charge how much do I charge per room how much do I charge for a living room how much do I charge for a kitchen like an actual number it's nine dollars for this and it's twelve dollars for that you know a fridge is this many dollars or I need to know what those actual dollars are I have no clue how to come up with this number I don't I need a base price a, a, like a list of what I should charge all right, how much should you charge per room? I would love to say it is $12 and just leave it and that'd be the price. That would be so easy. And even Google could give you an answer like that. But the reason you're not getting an answer is not because the world is trying to hold a secret from you, but it's because there is not a hard, fast answer. It's like saying, how much does it cost to go to the doctor if I'm sick? Well, it depends on how sick you are and it depends on how long you have to be at the hospital. Are you like almost dead or are you only kind of sick? And do you need only one visit from the doctor or do you need lots of visits, right? And then if they prescribe something to you, do they need to like wheel you into the emergency room or do they just need to give you a prescription you can go pick up and take for a couple of days and then you're better? There are a lot of variables. There are also a lot of variables in the house cleaning business. So a bathroom, for example, might be a closet underneath a stairway and you open it up and there's a toilet on one side and a sink on the other and that's all that's in there. And then there's another kind of bathroom where it's a primary bathroom and you go in there and there are going to be two sinks, one for him and one for her. And then there's going to be like a great big garden tub and a big shower. There might be a toilet or a toilet and a bidet or there might be two toilets. There might be two walk-in closets. There might be a lot of ceramic tile. It's going to be a very different bathroom than the one that's hiding under the stairs, right? There also might be a shared bathroom that has just a bathtub shower combo, and then maybe it has two sinks. That's gonna be a different price than either of the bathrooms I just mentioned. So to say, here's the price for a bathroom, there is no such thing. Now, one of the things that we have to factor in when we're giving a price to a customer is the type of bathroom that it is, and then also how the bathroom is used. Because if it's a guest bathroom and nobody ever uses it, that's gonna be a different price than if there are two people that are using that bathroom every single day for an hour of their time. Getting dressed in the morning, showering, shaving, hair curling with a curling iron, putting makeup on, and there's gonna be hairspray all over, and there's gonna be little whiskers in the sink and stuff like that. It's gonna be a very different clean. So how the rooms of the house are used is gonna be very different than just giving you a price and saying, here's how much it costs. You don't wanna charge the same price for a living room that's never used that has showcase furniture in it as opposed to one where the family comes in and they spend a couple hours a day watching TV and they eat in that room and there's you know coffee mug rings on the surfaces of the coffee tables and there are spilled things and there's food in the cushions of the couch, there's food stuck to the rugs. The flooring is gonna be different on the entryway of a house where people walk in and they take off their shoes as opposed to a house where people live off of a gravel road and it's muddy and rainy and wet and snowy outside and they don't take off the shoes in their house and they just walk in and trample that all over all of the floors that they walk on, right? So there is no set price. So I don't wanna alarm you to say that we're trying to be secretive and keep it from you as much as what we do is we re encourage you when you start out in the cleaning business to start out with a flat rate, which is an hourly rate. And that hourly rate says, how much can I clean in one hour? but at least you get paid for an hour of your time. 
And then the reason that we do that is so that you can figure out how quickly can you clean this type of a bathroom? How quickly can you clean that type of a bathroom? And then once you know what your cleaning skills are, you're going to be able to walk in and say, okay, looking around at all the way that you guys live, it's going to take me about a half hour to clean this bathroom. And so that half hour of your time is going to cost about how much? And that's the price that you're going to add to that bathroom. And if you walk into a tiny bathroom under the stairway, how long is it going to take you to do that? You might say, well, I could clean this whole bathroom in 10 minutes. All right, so the 10 minutes of your time, that's how much that would cost. And so you'll have to figure out your own numbers based on how much do you charge per hour and how long does it take you to clean? And then you have to break down, like you said, all of the other expenses because you have all of your operating costs and then you have all of your cleaning costs and you have all of your cleaning supplies cost. And then how long does that take you, which are, are your labor costs? And so once you factor in all of those things, then you have a price. You have like, here's how much it's going to cost me per hour per house to clean. And then you break that down by the rooms of the house, and then you will have your own price per room. There are softwares on the market, and I will leave links in the notes below on some of the different types of software that are available so that you can plug in your numbers. So that after you've cleaned a few houses, you can say, oh, the, the, the primary bathroom is going to take me about 25 minutes in a house to clean. That is worth X amount of dollars. And that might be like $45 to you. And then you say, okay, every time I clean a primary bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and charge $45. That might be your price. And so once you figure out the prices for each of the rooms of the house, you will be able to come up with your own pricing structure. So again, it's not that anyone's trying to keep things from you. It's just that based on the different lifestyles and the different a number of people that live in a house and do they have pets and all of those things is going to vary from home to home. You can have two homes sitting simultaneously next to each other in the same neighborhood with the exact same guts of the house, meaning the same rooms and everything, the elevation, the front of the house is different. The insides of the house are exactly the same. And the way that the people inside the house live could be completely different. One house might have just a couple that have no children. The other one might have five children and two dogs. It's going to get very different use than the other house. The number of bathrooms, the number of bedrooms, the way the kitchen is used, it's going to be very different from the other house. Even the pricing on two houses right next to each other, almost identical houses are completely different pricing. That's the reason the pricing is not exact. As long as I've been in the cleaning business, almost 32 years, I've never had just a set price. This is the set price. We charge this no matter what. It doesn't happen. It's, it, it's just like going to the doctor. There's no set price. Every situation is a little different which requires you to learn how to price based on how long it's going to take you. And it always comes down to how long is it going to take you to clean these areas because it, time is money and you only have so much time. And so you have to figure out how to clean those rooms in an allotted amount of time and what is that time worth. And so in the end, it always comes down to how long is it going to take you. And when you bust that up with your operating costs, that is the price that you charge. All right, I hope that helps. If it does, give us a thumbs up. If you've got questions or comments, those can go in the notes below. We also have training programs where we answer specific instructions and pricing stuff like this, where we can help you work through that kind of stuff. You can join us over at Savvy Cleaner, and I will leave links in the show notes as well. All right, until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.